Where have you been? I had to be my own PA. Sorry. In a mood, I am. Oh, give me strength. Look, I went over to Yvonne's to try and do something nice for her, and she went mental at me. It was upsetting. Oh. She's going through hell, and she's losing it. Who is? Ah, uh, your mum. I went over to try and fix Ben's trellis thingy, and she went off at me. I didn't help. She was off home to have a sleep, and I mentioned the decisions she had to make about Ben, and she wasn't very happy. She's convinced he's going to wake up. Any chance that could actually happen? None. Maybe she just needs sleep, then she can think straight. Either way, I better go over and check on her. Rachel's right. We are alike. Neither of us tolerate fools. No. But you are a snob. I beg your pardon? What's your favourite reality TV programme? <laughs> Can't say I have one. Because? Because I am not interested in that style of programme. Because you're a snob. Our program, the one that Gemma was in... Flab Squad. The title Flab Squad was designed to outrage and intrigue. People will come to watch as voyeurs and come away entertained and informed. We're ratings driven, but we genuinely care about our contestants and our audience. Really? It's a powerful thing to see our own issues portrayed on TV. We help contestants learn and then we share what they've learned. Well, maybe I should have a look. You should. You might realise the worth of it. You also might realise what I really do and who I really am. And I'm guessing about now you're going to ask for that theatre footage back, which I'm sorry to say, I don't have. Yeah, I'd like the footage back. At the very least, I'd like some interview material. You, your team, more of Gemma. Deal. Good. Now what's for lunch? That's Butterfly Kisses and that's the owner who wants to sell. Oh, that's Robbo, who also played reluctant seller at my house. Oh. Was he convincing? Very. And how was Henry? Smooth. Never overplayed his hand, never did a hard sell. But all the time letting you know how much the horse is winning. All that. Oh. And he doesn't suspect you? No way. Oh, and I faked a phone call from a real estate agent. Nice. So, not only does he know you're keen on the horse, but now he thinks he might lose you if you buy a place. Exactly, which means he's all set for us to up the ante. Make the call. Are we rolling? Is this sort of operation daunting for a surgeon? No. Not daunting for a surgeon of your calibre, I'm sure, but as I understand, it's still quite technical and not without risks. Correct. She had an unforeseen complication, I understand. Yes. So with a young woman's life literally in your hands, how do you stay calm and fix the problem? Training. Practice. Cut. Great, we all done? And if our goal is to put our viewers into a medically induced coma... Well, I told you, surgery's dull. You're being dull deliberately. I'm giving answers appropriate to lay people. Chris. I'm trying to tell a story. Stories have guest characters and the audience wants to identify with them too, okay? Roll. When Gemma experienced her complication in surgery, how did that make you feel? Feel? As I understand it, your registrar nicked a vein in error. You were called in to clean up, so you must have felt something. I felt I had to control the bleeding and tie the affected vein. I did feel a bit hungry. Cut. While you're at it, cut my damn throat. Oh, Mum. We didn't even need ice. Not really. We could have made do. We wouldn't even have had a barbecue if I had accepted Ben's proposal. Have you had any sleep? Have you eaten? I can't even remember what he said. Who? Ben, when he and Hunter drove off. I can't remember what he said. Is it important? No. Nothing matters except Ben continues to recover. 
I've had a second and third opinion about Ben's condition. What if you get a fourth and it says the same as the others? You've got to accept that that's a possibility. No. Mum, I can't stand seeing you like this. Now, you can get angry at me or whatever, but Ben has gone. About three quarters of the way through Gemma's operation, something happened. Sure did. When I mean, you guys wanted a better camera angle, we Sorry, moved. Isaac, can you describe what was going through your head at that moment or what you were seeing in front of you? Well, one minute I was cutting and cauterizing, and then bang, I made a small error and nicked a vein. Were you scared? Only the sort of fear that makes you focus more. So, in the moment, you're completely in control? So is the team backing you. You know, we all want a good outcome, and we got one. So when something goes wrong, do you feel like it's just bad luck or that you haven't been good enough? Oh, well, either way, you beat yourself up after. And if you don't, Dr Warner will do it for you. Showtime. Salvador. Well, um, I've been doing my finances, checking my numbers. If you bargained, you might get a share for, say, 10 grand less? Actually, I've decided against the share option. Really? But you were so keen. I don't want to hard sell you here, but it's a really good... No, I don't want to share. How much is the whole horse? The whole horse? How much is all three shares? 180? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Great. I'm interested in buying it. The whole horse. Wow. You don't think I should? No, I mean... No, I don't think that. I mean... What a great investment. I'm so grateful for all your help, Henry. My own race course. <laughs> I could ask for the contracts to be drawn up this afternoon if you like. That's not too much bother. Well, I'm headed that way anyway. I'll call you in an hour or so, eh? My own race horse. Hey, I like horses. Bit of tomato sauce, bit of mash on the side. 